My name is Gustavo Spinoza. I am in charge of the crane operations for Dragado's Flatiron Joint Venture. I oversee the day-to-day -day crane operations and crane moves, along with a great maintenance department team. I've been a crane operator for 15 years. I've operated a variety of cranes from small carry deck cranes, RTs to our MLC 650 crawler crane. The first step in conducting a pre-shift equipment inspection is to take a site assessment utilizing our crane daily inspection checklist form. The typical daily tasks include but are not limited to checking oil, coolant, hydraulic fluid, tires or tracks, looking for leaks or damage to hoisting cable, inspect the hook on the load block and the whip line, and any damage on the boom. Make sure the crane deck is clear of any debris. Ensure all pins and latches are in correct place and that you have all the correct certification and paperwork for the crane. Before starting any crane operations, we must have a pre-lift meeting with the crew to review the pick plan and inspect the rigging. A pick plan will give you the load information, lift parameters such as boom lengths, angle radius, and gross capacity, along with all safety measures. We will then assign a signal person to signal the operator and communicate crane operations via hand signals or radio communication to ensure safe operations. A few months ago, our team was tasked with moving the MLC 650 crane from a work site in Fresno County to another site south of Corcoran in Kings County. Moving the crane took a team effort from working with a vendor to disassemble and reassemble the crane scheduling trucks to assist the crane and support needed for the operation. The planning and organization began two weeks before the move. This ensured we had the correct number of trucks, permits, and assist cranes needed to load and offload the crane at its new destination. There was a total of 52 truckloads used to transport boom sections, counterweights, trays, housing, and tracks which weigh over 100,000 pounds. The disassembly and reassembly took about four days to be hook ready. The advice I would give someone who would like to pursue a career as a crane operator would be to do it. It's a great career. You get to work with state-of-the-art equipment and great projects such as a high-speed rail making history, something you and your family can be proud of.